Don't snatch. You don't snatch from people. It is rude. Proceed. Matt, are we live? To 36 countries. Holy shit, man. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. We got to do... We got to get this out of the way. Bend and see it. Bend and see it. Bend and see it. It's till I come, 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 come. (laughs) Very good. (coughs) We're all a bit sick. I started it. I was patient zero. Now, I'd say probably a hundred people have gotten sick. (laughs) Shut up! Oh, fuck. We don't have the trumpet. Oh, Ooh. that doesn't work, Matt. It's a soft what trumpet do you talk of? We're buying Man, a new to buy one on Marketplace. I went to oh, the shop. Oh, because- man. What happened last week? What did we do on the weekend? Last we episode. Dinner. Oh, we're back to... We finished which sport is the scariest. That's nice. Now we can go back to filming normal Ooh. shit. <sighs> we got fucking filming a brand deal for Ned's again at the moment. What, what happened last week? We had a birthday dinner for me. Yeah, we had a birthday dinner for Michael on Friday. But before that, I oh, heard- you heard his Michael hurt his back real bad at the gym <laughs> and Toka. Mm. So we couldn't film last Thursday and Friday. Other than that, pretty fucking chill weekend. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. I was horizontal most of it. What did you do to your back? I think I went too hard in the gym with weights and then played cardio that later that day, and it was all tight. He's uh, getting old. See, we must stretch our corpses yeah. now. It's so annoying. <laughs> you know, it's wasn't it weird to think that we're all going to be fucking stiff corpses one day? Like, you will be a stiff corpse. We won't move. Our bodies will just be a stiff, decomposing corpse. You're not yeah. going to get cremated? I don't think so, man. Because what if the off chance you fucking, your, your sperm, your spirit flying off... And they're still like a bit connected to your corpse and then you're fucking burning and all of a sudden your fucking spirit's on fire. Yeah, you don't want your spirit to be on fire. You'd rather it rot slowly. A soul got... on fire is a wasted soul, Matthew. And that's actually in the Bible. And that's why they that's why they bring it up. That's why they burn people, man. Wasted what do you soul? think the Salem burnings were about? You fucking Witches. idiot. Yep. Well, you're fucking halfway there. So that's for our weekends. Yep. And what else is fucking going on? We launched our uh, fucking um, our uh, weed website, all right? We don't sell weed on there yet, but we will. It's www.cutn.com.au. We sell like this vaping shit on there. And it's pretty expensive though. It's like 375 bucks, but it's fucking worth it. They're fucking the good shit. Like, the battery lasts for like days and days. You Perfect can just- for golfing. You just take it around with you and just smoke it and you fucking, we got some other bits and pieces on there, but we will be adding more products to the site as we go. So that happened yesterday. We launched that. What um, is the uh, website address again? Cutten.com. C-U-T-N.com.au. .au. Okay. .au. Yeah, there is a .com. It's .au. Um, and f- <clears throat> fuck me. Battling a cold, aren't we? And this podcast is sponsored by Manscaped. If you want to buy some male grooming products, you can have 20% off if you use our discount code fully actual. All right, all you got to do is manscaped.com, go there, fully actual, you get 20% off some shit. They got really nice smelling things. They've got ball trimmers, but it has come to our attention that these do can still, some of you guys have messaged and said, I just cut my balls with one. So they're good, but don't be fucking reckless with it. Gotta be safe. Yeah, you, 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 you gotta don't, take your time. If you're in a rush, Maybe just do it when you get home and you've got a few minutes. Isn't that right, Matthew? Yeah, but not too slow. Don't hold them down on your skin. That's also quite... Matt's tried it all. And your testicles were bloodied. Last last week's podcast, by the way, we fucking... We we fucking... we, We... we were making some really inappropriate jokes and shit and we got scared and we had to cut a lot of it. So I don't know. I don't think many people noticed, but it was a bit like some of it was a little bit weird or didn't flow like it usually does because we literally had to cut huge chunks of stuff out. So we're it was risque. Some, it was quite risque. But last week's podcast is already the most commented podcast 
that we've had yet and it's only been out for fucking 24 hours so keep the fucking comments coming guys that's it is good showing the, support the podcast is starting to swell like a fucking big Tumor. ball bag Tumor. and it's only a matter of time like it's rock hard it's only a matter of time before the ejaculate shoots out into the stars and this podcast becomes a nice big juicy fucking load shit on what on a back on yeah. a back of someone like a nice smooth tent back yeah yeah i can see that and we're getting close you know i can feel it swelling let's see if we can get it, it's nice seeing when the podcast get like 500 likes so if you can't if you can't support us in any other way all you need to do is just comment the best and give the video a thumbs up that's it and then we can fucking grow and then we're happy we're happy doing this for free and another weird thing that happened last week the fucking podcast had 20 ads in it we posted it demonetized like they all are instantly because of the things that you say hey we cut them and it had 20 ads in it and people are like oh what the fuck i thought you guys didn't get them ads in it and we didn't we don't get paid for that I was actually Ooh, found it really strange that um, we titled it you know, YouTube Hates Us. Yeah. And that's the one that decided to- And then YouTube to- fucking sneaks ads in and we don't even get fucking paid for the fucking dogs. Look, I'll show you guys. All our videos are demonetized. I'll fucking show you, dog. See? I, I, Look at all that yellow. Yellow, yellow. There are some green, some of the prank calls, the short ones, they're monetized. But that's it. When we upload them separately. But if you want to support us hardcore- and support the podcast. What is sponsored? What sponsors the podcast is the University of Market. Our subscription website where we post a weekly massive vlog of the behind the scenes of our day-to-day lives and extra footage from whatever social media video we got coming out. And, and holy fuck, yeah, do we, we have some big shit? Literally. Some, yeah. Mm, uh, some, yeah. Mm. Today, we spent the morning, a good hour, eating a massive bowl of corn. And we are going to make... Poo corn. We are going to try and make hunger obsolete. All right, that is our goal. All right, we're smart enough. We have the resources. We had this idea live on the podcast. You guys heard us coming up with it. Mm. And so now what we've done is we've just had fucking a kilo of corn each. And Michael was it? We didn't even chew any. It was yeah, just swallowing swallow like tablets. Off. And tomorrow, when we need to do poo poo, we're gonna slam it into a bucket. We're gonna wash the shit off. And see if we can re-eat the corn. Therefore, not ever needing to buy new food. Until the corn goes off. Obviously, you might have to have like maybe once corn goes off, which is like every, what, couple months, you might have to get a fresh corn cob. But I'm sure the world can give up two fucking corn cobs. If we can make it so that you only need to eat a fresh meal once a month, that should eliminate world hunger, I think. I did some, I ran some numbers, right? And the numbers that I ran, were, it was a mess. Like it was, I didn't, it made no sense. But I'm pretty sure that if we do that, then that hunger will sense. be, hunger will be gone, wiped out. All of those people in Africa, they'll be, they'll be so full. Well, yeah. Everyone just needs one corn. One corn. A month. Well, much. we'll see. We, have, we haven't got the results One yet. cob of corn. Where that's our hypothesis and we're pretty, pretty fucking sure about it now obviously we won't be able to post that video to social media because it's us shitting in buckets and cleaning shit and and eating it so that unfortunately will be on the website but we'll show as much as we can okay because i want the world to see especially if it works Mm. next segment we the on we put it to you last week we put it out there do you want on this days to come back or should we just focus on the diary entry and the people have spoken and the on this day, the final on this day I have on my phone, the very last one. And then it's just diary entries. And <laughs> you guys are going to be so happy with me. I even managed to find my old diary. And even though Michael ripped his up, there's still some small bits of diary that are usable as well. So it's going to be a diary entry from all three of us. I stole week. Julian's. I stole Julian's diary. All right. Well, fucking hell. Hopefully he'll start. There'll be a diary entry from Julian as well. I wonder if there's anything about his parents in there. Oh, 100%. Yeah. He's a sick, twisted puppy, that boy. And you know what, Matt? You are. You are fucked in the head. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the final on this day. This is like... <laughs> we should be emotional for this. You might cry. Okay, I'm going to get into the uh, mode. All right, the final on this day, everyone. God, it's like, wow. I can't believe we've gotten here to this. 
three and a half seasons of On This Days. On this day in 2021, so today, the final On This Day is written. On This Day has brought us a lot of laughter and sometimes tears. And it has, an absolute, has been an absolute pr- pleasure researching them. The end of this On This Day now pays way for a new segment. A segment which reveals who I, Matthew Gregory Brown, really am. I have been hiding my true self from the world, ashamed of my thoughts. But now as I reach a point of clarity in my life, I realize I must share these thoughts with the world. For expressing who I am at my core is the only way to overcome myself. So lend me your ears, but beware, I was a very broken man, and hearing some of my dark days may shock your very essence. Goodbye on this day, and welcome to the mind of Matthew Brown. I was so close to getting a fucking tear, look. Yeah, wow, very good. Is there one falling? He's, there's like, there's, his eyes are slightly watery. Very good, man. Thank you. All right, yeah. final on this day. Uh, uh, uh. All right, I've got here Michael's diary entry first. <clears throat> All right. Diary entry in 2007, diary entry number 199 from Michael Brookhouse. I had three hours of tennis coaching today and then I played some Xbox with Marty at night. We made jokes about inappropriate things and fell asleep at 4am. That sounds like a typical fucking year 12 night. Yeah. Uh, Diary entry uh, in 2009, diary entry number 287 from Marty McDiver. That is my last name. Today was good. We went to the shops and I watched a movie with my friend. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> and all right, Matthew Brown. <laughs> a little bit longer. <clears throat> okay. Diary entry number 1722, 2080 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <clears throat> My eyes were bulging out of my face. It was a balancing act staying hidden in the bushes and getting an unobstructed view of a girl eating a hot dog. She takes another bite and my eyes bulge further. They bulge so much that they start to shudder and hurt. I notice blood running down my arm and I see that I've crushed my iPhone with my hand and the glass was deeply embedded. I smile at the wound and my asshole seizes up as the blood excites me. I look up just in time to see her take another bite. Lovely breasts, I blurt out. An elderly couple walking nearby hears me but is too scared to look over. The girl finishes the hot dog and goes to leave the park where we were having a date in. I tell myself I need to act now and stumble out of the bushes that were concealing me. The girl is startled and stares at me. My eyes were still bulging uncomfortably out of my skull and I had urinated my pants earlier to cool down. What's your address? I half yell as I walk quickly towards her. Her demeanor quickly changes and she puts her hand up and firmly says, Stop! I stop, confused as to why she's being confrontational. Oh, sorry, I just thought we were on a date and it was going really well. She looks confused and scared. Stay away from me! I come. I find her strength sexy. She turns and runs. People all over the park were now looking at me. I pushed my bulging eyes back into my head and quickly started walking home. I was certain she liked me. She smiled at me six months ago at the coffee shop. I thought we were a couple. My flashlight will have to satisfy my little brown yet again. Again, as my little brown grows hungrier and hungrier for real flesh. Oh, 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 oh dude, her strength turned me on. Oh. You need your mic, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> her strength seduced me or whatever that was. That fucking part got me good. You asked for her address. That's, of course, it's going to scare her. Why were you trying to scare her? If you knew that she was uncomfortable. I didn't think I was being scary. Well, asking for an address is pretty... It's like really forward thing to do, especially if you just come out of the bushes. But I guess he thought that they were on a date or something. Clearly, yeah, sorry about that. Clearly not the case. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about like your psyche here. Like, It's good. What year though? It might have been ages back. It was 2018. Yeah, it's like three years ago. Yeah, that's true. Well, they only go up to 2018. So is that when you sort of like... I started this podcast and that was therapy. Mm. And I changed. That could be it. Yeah. Wow. wow. So we've saved Matt Brown. We Matt Brown was it. on a on a very dark path there. By the sounds of it, you you were unaware that you were on such a dark path too. You were probably going to rape someone. It's it's um, it's not looking good, eh? And who knows? Like he's not. He hasn't made eye contact with us. I'm assuming that maybe in some one of the diary entries. Look, I don't know. I don't want to speculate. Oh shit! I sort of sort of spoke too soon. You think? Well, no. I'm saying that maybe, maybe he did. 
Yeah, I know. So I shouldn't have said that he hasn't raped someone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, Matt? Yeah. He's going to stay quiet on that. All right, it's for the best. Oh, we'll find out. You know, it's thank you for um, offering such an insight, though. It's very interesting. It's like, it's it's very very disgusting. It's very very fucking animal, but it's interesting. Mine was good. Yeah, mine was alright. It was just very. You normally go in more detail. I must have been tired or something. Sorry, but yeah, Matt's is always very detailed. Very detailed. I can't. Detail. Well, we, I'll bring Julian's next week. Yeah, yeah, bring Julian's along. See what that one's like. He's got videotapes in his too. Surely that's like your diary could be a a movie. Every episode could be like a scat porn episode. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Do you know oh, somebody oh. sent me this House of Horrors <laughs> scat porn video? <laughs> it was a nightmare. <laughs> And it started off with like a like a family in like a horror house, like something out like out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, <laughs> except it's all like weird scat porn vomit <laughs> shit. And didn't they like intrigue you, or is this last? Oh week's yeah, story? no, it got me in there. Oh, but yeah, oh, hang on, you're talking about something different. That got me, yeah, watching. But uh, somebody sent me in another one where it was. Um, it was like a pretty girl dancing. Ooh. And I was like, oh, that sucks you in. Yeah, of course I would. And then like- brown tingling. Just as it's about to obviously hit its peak, it flicks to a, a video of a guy about to cut his penis off. Oh, oh. that's right. You mentioned that one. Yeah. Yeah, it was tough to- I had to pause there. At Matt Brown 1111 if you want to um, send Matt some Send stuff. him nice videos too, though. Yes, yeah, a bit of a mixed bag. Actually, it's want. pretty funny you say that because I did say to someone, I said, oh, wow, we've, uh, you're sending me some tough shit to watch. And they said, yeah, all right. And they sent me something nice. What was it? I think it was just Two something. dogs having sex? <laughs> <laughs> I someone might send him sent that. me a dude fucking a chicken. Oh. <laughs> like literally he's like just oh my, smashing it I into guess, his dick yeah they're like their chickens are basically just fleshlights with feathers was it making yeah. noise was it like no, it was no. quiet oh man that's horrible oh mm. yeah that is terrible fucking animals is not on matt brown i hope that that never happens in any of your fucking diary entries <laughs> but i am un- i am unsure I don't really know who you are anymore. Time will tell. How how is this person so normal? But this diary is such an insight directly into his I soul. I think you're beautiful still. Thanks, man. We'll see. I'm I'm on guard. I'm on guard now. So if I sound a bit funny, I'm still a bit sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all a little bit sick, aren't we? I yeah. did that. I got Mon sick, and then Mon got people at her work sick, and then bloody Matt's people got wholesome sick. It's just a big fucking dishwasher. Big dishwasher. How about you, Michael? Did you get anyone sick? I don't know. I coughed up so much phlegm. So much. You should make sculptures with it. Yeah, well, I kept it in a bottle and poured it out. I sent a photo to you. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember. Do you want to see it, Matt? No. I'm going to show you. Okay. It's fucked. Like, it was... Um, Where is it? When you're sick, your phlegm goes green. It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, or chunk. yellowish sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah, can you hold that right up to the camera, man? Oh. It looks like cottage cheese or something. What? Yeah, did you spread it? Uh, as I poured the like the bottle of uh, water out, that's how it sort of flowed out. All right, people watching on YouTube. Is this a picture? Yeah, yeah, it's just a picture. You're about to see it. That's come out straight out of Michael's fucking throat. And people listening, it Lungs. looks like cottage cheese that's been spread on the ground with a knife. Yeah. It's fucked. It's been a rough few days. Yeah, we're quite ill and the energy's levels are low. Mm. But the fucking man, it's been motivating seeing the podcast gone. Yeah. Better and better and better. Each episode, it's like we used to get 5,000 views in a week and now it's like 5,000 in a day. So you fucking, everyone's fucking pumping the support and it's fucking red hot. Keep the comments flung, keep the likes flung and keep the ears open, bro. Thank you. Let's let's answer some questions. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I had a girlfriend tell me, <laughs> dude, having sex when you are munted, think about some of the faces you see. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. she said that like she was, it turned her off so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> just like so twisted. Like, cross. <laughs> yeah. like fucking a fucking or just go left to right. It'd be fucking bang. bang. Oh, it'd be like having sex with someone with a and disability. Imagine you're like fully trying to thrust <laughs> on top of them. You're like that. Like, oh. It's just oh. so, so far. Oh, that is. Like, that would make you feel sick. Imagine even a chick doing that, like, riding you. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That could be sort of hot. But, like, I don't know. It's just, as a dude, it doesn't look hot when she's he's trying to pump you and you're just fucking chewing your jaw off with your eyes caving in on your own skull. I've got about a two minute video of you, like, Chewing your face off. You can't fucking. And so now on. I can picture your coming face. Oh, you can't. Ever, you <laughs> can't <laughs> come on MDMA. Either, yeah. So you just be sitting like that the whole time. <laughs> yeah, just really trying hard to oh. get to the point of coming, and that's just you go more intense, more you chew your jaw. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I was like, shit. Don't look at me. <laughs> don't fucking look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> As you're fucking slamming away, you can't. Oh. Who are you? Get out of my. You're trying to see who you are, can't <laughs> you? <laughs> 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 delving down the inappropriate holes. Yeah. Touchy! Don't touch the surface. Don't touch the surface with my toe. <laughs> Don't. The, ri- the ripples. <laughs> I like that. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question is from uh, Dr. Bray Tnay. Uh, from James Kirkpatrick um, Marty did you ever find who had the pictures from when they did the metal detecting did you ever find the people who took the pictures no that is well and truly gone and like I say every time someone brings it up I prefer not to think about it and I just want to forget that that ever happened and forget that someone out there has a picture of my little my little brown <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you made me faint almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made my nose itchy. Fuck, Fuck that. Hell. Fuck that, man. How's that <laughs> happened to my laugh, can't I? <laughs> you know how your laugh changes throughout your life? <laughs> yeah. I used to have a... <laughs> <laughs> now laugh? it's... Now it's... <laughs> It's like a fucking kookaburra. He sounds like a kookaburra. <laughs> yeah, well, birds have been following me ever since I've started laughing like that. I think it's oh. some sort of mating call. All right, All right next, next question, question is, is from, from GR Freeman. Freeman. Um, good question, by the way. Thank Would you. Would you rather only age from the neck up or the neck down? Mm. If you have the choice. Probably. What would make you live longer? Because you need your brain. Hmm? Right? Yeah, but you need your heart. more organs and shit. Yeah, but if the brain's makes- the most important one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine having our fucking brains and heads cunt and fucking be 80 down here, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fucking insane cunt. Oh. Yeah, we'd be flying home with our flesh and that. Yeah, you could sort of like play with all your skin. <laughs> no one would believe you. I'd probably, for looks-wise, want my face younger, but for health-wise, I'd want my body younger. But then, yeah, I guess you probably would live longer if you're if you just let your head deteriorate. You'd have like a thirty-year-old body, but a grandpa's skull, and you'd have fucking Alzheimer's up to your heels, cunt. <laughs> How is that a laugh? That turned into just a piss take laugh that's just taken on a mind we of its own. We fucking heard someone do that the other day. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly right. I don't make these laughs up. I hear them around. <laughs> Next question is from Josh Kiel. Kiel. Um, what are your guys' opinions on Jake Paul, Logan Paul boxing or any other social media people boxing? I don't mind it. People think it's real bad for the boff of boxing or for MMA, but I don't think it is. It's getting eyes on the sport. And that means mm. even if it is like a professional fighting a fucking someone who's only had a couple of fights, it's still entertainment. It doesn't matter what you do. It's, enter- it's entertaining. It's fine. Yeah. Well, but, but the way they go about it is a bit... I like, wouldn't do it, but it does make a bit of money. Yeah, they're making a fuckload of money and um but yeah i don't know the um the paul brothers they've got a way of promoting things it works it's a bit much i had a really good opinion from a a proper wrestler and he was saying 
I never get angry at WWE for doing fake wrestling. And you're saying it's very entertaining. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> is. Said, why, why would a boxer get angry at an amateur that can put on an entertaining fight? I, I, so I, sometimes I think it might just be a squint of jealousy that this nobody is making 10 times the amount of money that they are, even though they're a professional in the sport and have dedicated their lives to it. That's why it's a bit like fucking fucking. But, you know, you got the fucking followers. You can do what you want. My brother, am I right? Put it there, pal. God, bring that shit in, man. I want to have that on me. I want to make a necklace out of this moment, cunt. Okay. I want to make a f- jewelry out of that. Okay. That hug, man. How do you make a j- hug necklace, cunt? How do you make a, m- a necklace? <laughs> Next. Confused. <laughs> no, I got angry that we went down that path. <laughs> hug necklace. Next question is from, from Tal- uh, Tala Ahmad. Um, uh, what whatever happened to vlogs? You guys do vlogs on your website? Yeah, yeah. vlogs they on the website. start back this week. Yeah, and we'll be doing, yeah, the shortened vlogs for YouTube like we were at the start of the year. It's just we weren't doing that. <coughs> with the series. With the series going on. We're also going to do some social media video- videos again. All those little games and shit that everyone's like t- playing now. T- t- they're, like, they're pretty fun and easy to film t- and they go well. Oi! Maybe, maybe some pranks, eh? Oi! Excite you. Have some prank days T- till I till I till I till I come. We'd, we'd like that, wouldn't we? Don't touch me again. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Addison Leap Forty Nine. Um, Marty, where in where were you born? In, in what hospital in Germany? Heifelberg. Oh, fuck up! <laughs> what oh. the fuck did he say? Heifelberg. Now I'm shy. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> now I was born at Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. No, I was born in yeah in East Germany. I don't want to say the, the names because I will be ridiculed and, and made fun of. <laughs> so we, yeah, okay. My German has really got. I realized last week reading one of the. I've forgotten a lot of German. I was only three, and now I'm thirty. One, two, nearly. Shit, man. Addison also had a follow up question, bitch, saying Marty. Oh, sorry. Why are you German, Marty? I think um, <laughs> I don't really have a choice in it. And I'm not that German. I would consider myself true blue, brother. It's fucking spent the bulk of my life here. Can't You're have, a farmer. I've known no other way, cunt. I fucking came here when I was fucking three years old, cunt, on the farms in New South Wales, right? That's fucking more Aussie than most three-year-olds here, cunt. And I don't remember much from fucking Germany. I was fucking three years old, cunt. I only remember bits and pieces here and there, cunt. And fucking going back and visit the old fucking family every now and then, cunt. When I was fucking kid, cunt. Did you fuck a cow or get the lust for a cow as a kid? No, I would have been. The, did you have a cow on the property? No, no, I would have been. I think 14, 15, I knew something was wrong. Yeah, okay. Next question is from Calissa Adams. Um, is the vape smokeless? A um, little bit comes out sometimes. We put it on the hottest temperature setting. But yeah, you can't so see it. So it burns more, it gets you fucked quicker. But you can't... Yeah, it's like it's much easier to smoke than bongs and pipes and shit. Isn't that right, mate? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You're being very flirtatious this evening. Look at that, Matt. Does that get your little brown going? Who are your role models or heroes? Oh. <coughs> Fuck. What's wrong? Or just name one. Um, I'd probably be yours, wouldn't I? Surely I'm yours. Your hero and your role model? Bruce Willis. Yeah, Bruce Willis is up there. Why? Because he's like the best action film man in the world. And that's what matters in life. I like um, Russell Brand. I like Will Ferrell. Andy Samberg. Very funny people. Yeah, Andy Samberg's pretty cool. Fucking... Um, I thought Chad from that band would be yours. Anyway. Chad Kruger from Nickelback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do dress yourself like him. How did we oh, want to like, like this? And why weren't we able to see the signs that we missed? All right, next question is from, <laughs> <laughs> is from Ed Boycon. Uh, this is one of the higher liked ones. Um, Michael. Yeah. Would you consider getting a mullet? You'd become a very sexy ranger ringworm. <laughs> love you, boys. I've already got a Dude, fucking Dude, I would mullet. love you with a mullet. No, like shave the sides, cunt. It's already... Shave the sides. I had a friend sides. hack into it the other night and now I've got a mullet. You haven't changed your Did hairstyle they? for so long. Mm-hmm. You haven't changed your hairstyle for so I think maybe try a mullet, mate. 
Why don't you try mullet? And we can change your name to Randall. Randall? What do you think? Do you think Matt look? I mean, Michael looks like a Randall? No. Comment what name you th- if you saw Michael and you didn't know his name was Michael. What name would you think that he has? And same for me. What name do you think that I have? And Matt. Matt looks like maybe a Bruce, or or a um a Rupert. Oh yeah, I could see a Rupert, or maybe like a um <coughs> Gustav. Gustavuson. Oh fucking. Rame, <laughs> R A M E. I found a name book in my in like Car. my parents' stuff, and Gus. they had Damien circled His name once. Is Gus. Oh, Damien, yeah, it could be a Damien. Angus, Damien. it's Angus. Oh yeah, Angus. Anyway, next okay. question is from Goofy Fat Ass. Oh, don't. Um, just wanted to ask. Uh, instead of a flute, would you guys try a harmonica for your farting? Yeah, that oh. could work. A harmonica. You don't need much air. Oh, and then you just—I'll just slot it in between the cheeks, and that's a great idea. Yes, yep. we're going to get a harmonica, and that's cheaper. We went to get a trumpet. The you other can day. get they were like four hundred dollars. Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. All right. Yeah, they are. Fuck off. Mm, fuck that. It's like a bit of brass. You can find that in the walls of any house. Yeah, you just take it out. It's in the copper. It's like in the wiring and shit. We did that once. Yeah. Did Next question is from Lake McBogan. Um, have you guys ever pranked your parents and what did you do to them if you did? Not really. I no. used to wait in, I think I've said this before, my mum would be vacuuming <laughs> and I'd wait in cupboards for so long <laughs> till it opened it up and then I'd <laughs> scare her. <laughs> She'd be so terrified. I used to hear my dad getting up for work. He'd be like, you know, 5.30, quarter to six, he'd leave. I'd quickly wait and get like, wait around like in the garage as he's leaving for work, I'd scare the shit out of him. He hated that. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it wasn't like, it, yeah, it was just like, Michael, f- go away. Like, <laughs> so dismissive of me. Like, why are you here? It's fucking 5.45 a.m. and I'm on my way to work. Go to bed. He's Mum would be like, you get a reaction. She'd yeah, be, I- and that would feed You'd feed it more. Mm. You'd want to do it more. Yeah, I think, yeah, mum, yeah, same, just a scare here or there. They weren't really into the... I, f- I remember I remember one distinct prank I did to my mum. She was a bit upset about it, like, not in a, like, uh, angry way. She was just, like, just a bit disappointed and it broke my heart. I never did it again. Oh, actually, there was once I remember um, this kid at high school had a pen and it looked, <laughs> and it looked like, oh, no, or a rubber or something, but it looked like a vial of drugs a little thing of drugs oh, yeah, okay. and I took it home and I just left it on my drawer <laughs> and um, mum came in and saw it and, and I fully acted like I'd been busted and she was oh. like so distraught <laughs> thinking that I had started taking drugs. Did she yell at you in jail? Little did she know fucking <laughs> 10 years later that I this- would be a drug. <laughs> <laughs> I am drug. Fucking I can't believe that your poor mum. <laughs> Well, there was also another time when, um, I was wondering whether I should say this one. Um, yeah, there was a time when I was out in like year 11 or 12 out drinking with my mates. I just tell my mom, go on out, I'll be home later. Oh, yeah. And then we, w- I'd go around with a couple of little gross Dero mates and we'd fucking get fucked up and just fuck around. And I was pretending to bash one of my mates and like people would walk past and get like be oh. really freaked out. And then I was doing it. We did it. A few people got some really funny reactions. And then I fucking did it. And then uh, there was a couple walking on the other side of the road and I stop and I look up and it's fucking mum and my stepdad. And they both stop and they're like looking. You can see you can see that they're trying to work out who it is. And then I saw it was them and just fucking legged it. And then mum got home and called my mobile. And she's like, were you just beating the fuck out of someone? And I was like, No. It wasn't me. What are you talking about? And then you could hear, just hear in mum's voice, you could tell us lying. She's like, oh, all right, we'll just please. Like, she just <laughs> thought I was on drugs or something again. Oh, that's so she knew you were lying. But yeah, and then I came oh. home and was like, yeah, that was me. We are just fucking around. Yeah, that was good. I, had, I remember my dad challenged me. He's like, all right, fess up. You're on drugs. What are they? Because <laughs> like, I was just like, I'd fuck around and like, I don't know, at the dinner table, I'd play with my food and I just, I do weird shit just to fuck with them for a reaction. 
I don't know. I just, I <laughs> and had, they thought you were on drugs. Yeah, and then I was like, not yet, like, Dad. Yeah. We'll be later. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's like, where have you been? Where'd you just go? And I'd gone down to 7 Eleven to get like a Slurpee and some lollies, you know, a Maxi Bon. I was like, I went and got a Maxi Bon. And he's like, what the fuck is that? Is that what you call it this day? <laughs> this day? The fucking Maxi Bon. Where is it? I was like, that's a, it's an ice cream, Dad. And then he's like, yeah, hey, they fully thought I was on drugs. But warranted with my behavior. Like, I, I look back and I... You were I, disgusting. Yeah. Like, even just when I didn't have friends around, just to my mum and dad, because I was bored, I'd fuck with them. Yeah. Boredom fucking with people was something that I always did too. And people would... People, would, when I was younger especially, people would get so annoyed at me. Like, after a while, I'd be like, dude, can you just like... Because it would just be relentless, annoying. Like, and it would just make myself laugh. Yeah, yeah. I get Julian <laughs> with that shit all day. Like, yeah. con- constantly what? touching him or just like trying to scratch at him or so it's I'll lit- brush past him or I'll, I'll comment on something that he, or Rep- constantly. Repeat a word over yeah. and over. It's funny so- that you mentioned beating people, like fake beating people up. We used to do a similar thing in Palm Beach on the dangerous streets of that place. And me and, you know, Aaron Shanks, another podcaster, he, um, me and him like and, and another friend we used to like pretend to beat the shit out of one of us and like cars would pull over to like help like you know to stop it because it looked like it was a beating yeah and it was the funniest prank and then as soon as they get out of the car we just all sprint off together you should all start made it, making out oh, 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 fingering like, each other yeah no we're not fighting we're Lame. fucking but <laughs> 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 But this thing was the funniest thing. Like laugh that we just played like, you know, yelled. You like you didn't get shot, mate. Yeah, I know. That's fucking that's the boy who cried wolf. And he also cried wolf. That's the end of that question. Next one. All right, last question. Um it's from oh Tala Ahmad again. Uh have you guys tried any aphrodisiacs? I oh, just you know you regulars fucking oysters and shit. Isn't chocolate? Yeah, I guess. Dark chocolate. Like, is that what, is that what you like mean? Food, I don't know. Food doesn't get me in the mood. Yeah. Fucking drugs it, it, it and It might, alcohol. but you wouldn't even notice. You know, it might make you slightly a little bit hornier. You wouldn't be like, oh, it must, yeah. be, must be the oysters. <laughs> Lots of zinc. Have a diet full of zinc and you'll be fucking rock hard. There's no aphrodisiac. You like loneliness. Yeah, oysters, watermelons, strawberries, chocolate, figs, asparagus, artichokes. And a bottle of wine. There's no aphrodisiac like loneliness. The heart! And fuck me. All right, let's have a quick look at this. So I commented on the Marty and Michael account. So we've still got the two options, right? Chappelle Corby. Or fucking Husey. Husey. All right. So, what would you lean towards if you felt it was your choice? What do you, if you could have the dream fucking <coughs> uh, hunt, what would you want? Chappelle, well, Chappelle or Husey? I think Chappelle is just easy because, like, we're just after one response and it's very easy. Yeah. I'll, and I want to know. Um, so, I've commented Chappelle or Dave Hughes, but I think maybe we just do both. Right now, while we're all sitting here, I'm going to message her. All right, and we're gonna fucking um, where is we're she? We're gonna get to the bottom of this, quite frankly, because it's not it's not right. Like she, her her fucking sister is called Mercedes. All right, now obviously that's the name of a car. You know that when you're naming your kid, that's the name of the Mercedes. Car. The car was invented before she was born. Therefore, her dad either knew about that or she's a fucking car. And that's what we're just going to try and clear up here. We want to find out if her sister, Mercedes, <coughs> is a human or a car. So, what should I say? Hey, Chappelle. I um, hope it's flowing well in the free land because she's free now. That's good. Hope it's flowing well. Hope it's flowing well for you. Where... To where we have two very important people. We we were just having a chat. <laughs> yeah, we were we over were just, over some tea. Just having a chat over some high tea at, at at breakfast, and we're wondering if that, that old sister of yours and what and and we're wondering is 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 that old sister 
of uh, yours. She goes by Mercedes. A car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a car. Or not. Uh, Look, okay, so I've got this. Hey, Chappelle. Hope it's flowing well for you. We were just having a chat at breakfast and we're wondering, is that old sister of yours a car or not? <laughs> that, that, that's all you car need to say. Human. Do we go into more? Yeah, car, car or human. human. <laughs> yeah, that goes into more detail. All right, sent. I wonder if Chappelle has one of these. One of these packs. Maybe we should get her to promote it, Count. <laughs> anyway, so that's half of the hunt, all right? We'll just do that little side note. It'll be funny just seeing a reaction, okay? Right. Now with Husey, what are we going to fucking do to him? Well, what's something... What did he used to do? Maybe we could... What's something that would... Be, I'm, I'm furious. He used to have a furious segment. Yeah, fucking Husey loses it. Yeah. Can he still lose it? Is has Husey lost it? Has Husey calmed down? And what's something that Calms to prove, down. like to prove that he's calmed down? Like what something? Maybe he if say? we send him a chamomile tea, and he sends us a video of him drinking the tea and saying, "I've calmed down." Oh my god! Oh, he used to have a TV. That's pretty big. Did you hear that, Matt? Yeah. We'll send him a tea bag, and then we'll ask him, "Hey, mate, we've sent you a tea bag. We're a bit worried about you." You seem to be. There was a period there where you, you kept, lo- you kept losing, it. losing it. Yeah. So we've sent your tea in the mail. If you wouldn't mind um, drinking the tea and sending us a video and just saying that you've calmed down. Yeah. And you've got your shit together. Elaborate if you want. Yeah, it's your choice. That's good. Just that's saying really you've good. calmed down while having a sip. Okay. So after this podcast, I'm going to message David Husey and see if he will drink the tea on and film it for us and send it to us. Okay. Husey used to lose it all the time. We want to see if he's changed. Calm down. Fuck, we are... We're kicking goals here. This podcast is really flying through the stratosphere of Australian media. It's fucking impressive, dude. Like, I'm proud to be sitting here in this shithole. Yeah. You used to piss. Yeah, you I haven't pissed for a while. Piss all over the ground. Yeah. Oh, a shit will come. I've just got to save this shit, guys. For tomorrow's Oh, you're talking about... Yeah, Michael's been trying to shit himself live on the podcast. It's much harder than you think if it's while you're sitting down and while your pants are on. So, uh, but obviously we can't waste the... The The corn poo. Yeah, we've got a really expensive, uh, highly sophisticated experiment in his guts at the moment. So, we've got to leave that in there. So, we're fucked. Sparing my cunt on it. And that's that. So... Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. What's Deutsch mean? German. <coughs> Why do you say it's German? It's what everyone calls it. Because it's a different language. I'll never understand. Deutschland. Why? Okay. Ich bin in Deutschland geboren. Mein Name ist Martin und ich bin Deutsch. <laughs> Ich war drei Jahre alt, als ich zum Australien hingekommen bin. Meine Mutter und Vater sind auch deutsch. Ich kann nicht lesen. Äh. <lacht> yeah, Michael would just be, if I took him to Germany... <lacht> And just but, put him in the streets and he'd be... Like that? Yeah. <laughs> he did take me to Germany. Oh, my God. Very good, dude. Very good so far. Holy shit. All right. The first phrase. In this segment, I just read, read very common German phrases as if I'm having a conversation with a fellow German. Uh and then we translate them and you guys laugh and point and make fun of how strange uh, my native tongue is. Das Leben ist kein Zuckerschlecken. Das Leben ist kein Zuckerschlecken. Schlecken. Zuckerschlecken. Schlecken. See how fast you have to be? That sounds like... The tongue is on the roof of my mouth and it explodes down. Schlecken. Schlecken. Zuckerschlecken. Das Leben ist keine Zuckerschlecken. 
Wow. <laughs> it sounds like that's something that a disciplinist would say. Like someone who disciplines someone, that's how they talk. Well, it is. The meaning is life is no sugar licking, which means like life is hard. So if you come across a whingy, so oh, I don't have enough money to buy a hundred thousand dollar car, then you could say to them, "Das Leben ist kein Zuckerschlecken." Oh, and they would understand. It's like, life, like life is hard. Lady. Life is hard. You got to get ready for it, man. You got to work at it, man. Yeah. Le- das Leben ist kein Zuckerschlecken. Oh, sounds straining a bit. Hey, don't break them. You didn't let go. <laughs> My fucking finger. Oh. Mm, I remember my parents using this one. I, actually, I, I seriously do remember this one when I was a child. Okay? Very common German phrase. Jetzt haben wir den Salat! <laughs> no! Scheiße! Jetzt haben wir den Salat! <laughs> oh, Lord! Jetzt haben wir den Salat! 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 <sighs> now we have the salad. Oh, what? And you that means great, like as in sarcastically, like it's not good. Oh, so salads, everyone hates salads. Jetzt haben wir den Salat! <laughs> so it's like someone... You come inside, there's a mess everywhere. And you oh, Jetzt haben wir den Salat! Yeah, okay. Or you've asked someone to not go on their phone while they're driving. They rear end someone. The airbag goes off. He's concussed. Jetzt haben wir den Salat! Or... Fins. Jetzt haben wir den Salat! If like someone's brought the salad, you could say that too. You could say it in, in a in a literal way. Oh, jetzt haben wir den Salat! Now, the now, we, now we have the salad. So, Last next, one. next one, please. <clears throat> ich kenne mich hier aus. Ich kenne mich hier aus. Ich kenne mich hier aus. That's sort of cute in a way. And that basically means, I know me here out. Which means like, I know my way around this. I, I, I'm familiar with my surroundings. I accept that one. I ich, like that one. Yeah, that's all right. Ich kenne mich aus. Yeah. That sounds yeah. normal. Yeah, si, si, very si. Uh, do you know where I am? Si. Yeah, yeah, ich kenne mich aus. Si, buongiorno. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, that's not our language. We, we, we. Uh, we hate the French. <laughs> really offensive. <laughs> Nothing like French. <laughs> that's for sure. You've got a French hat on. Oh, it's an Australian lady's hat. Very offensive. I'm taking it off now. It's not a French hat. That's for sure. Definitely Australian. Oh, oh everything's much louder now. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Okay. And that is the end of the German segment, which brings us to our next segment, which is the P1 boxing. This week, we only have two letters that you guys have sent in. If you want to send us anything, anything at all, you send us a shit, a vomit, a piss, a cum, breast milk, spit, whatever you want. You want to send us a book, you want to send us a letter, we'll open it live on the podcast, okay? Here is the fucking P.O. box. I pushed it. <laughs> I pushed it down. What is it? 256? P.O. box 256 Tagum. Queensland, Australia. Also, we got a message of why we got this bullshit. Oh, the, the blindfolds Michael's talking about. We got blind, sent blindfolds a couple of weeks back with no context, and we thought it was the shittest thing we'd ever been sent. I got a bit heated about it. But it was simply a mistake. They were meant to be sent to her. Bullshit. Yep. What? Wow. We got sent them accidentally. From China. Oh, that's so good. I'm glad about that, Dan. That then, then. All right, well, it looks what? like we got some pretty shit P.O. boxes this week. We got a couple of fucking letters. Yeah, fuck, I'm worried about this. What do we got here? Oh, fuck, someone's invited us somewhere. Oh, we got a wedding to go to. 8th of April. Damn, it's already happened, has it? Oh, no, 2022. Wow, we'll go to it. Save the date for the wedding of Charlotte and Dakota. Where's it at? Two girls? Wow, where is One this? Sweet as. Charlotte... And Dakota messages for more. We'll um, we'll go, and Michael will even perform for you guys. Like no, you, you normally dance. He'll bring his. He'll, I have before as wedding gifts done an interpretive dance. Remember? Yeah. But uh, for, oh wait, look, it's in WA. Shitman. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. Are they members? If they're members of the website, we'll, we'll then, then possibly. So it's safe. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And, and it's your the, members. The Instagram of Charlotte dot Woodroff and. Daki boy. Daki boy. 
Oh, so maybe it is a boy. I don't know. But that's cool. All right, well, thanks for the invite. We'll see if we're around. And if we are, Michael will come and play guitar uh, for a solid half an hour on his own solo. So thank you for doing, for offering that. It's cute. It's, I'm very, I feel flattered. Yeah, well, that's why you offered that because you're happy that you got invited. That's a first on the podcast. Invited yeah, to a wedding. I haven't been invited. I've only ever been to one wedding. So Really? Weddings are so fun. I fucking love just getting fucked up at weddings and shooting up in the bathrooms and coming out and causing a big ruckus cunt. <laughs> it's not a bad time. To Marty. So just me, this one, guys. Sorry about that. You are the fucking best. I've seen videos of you and your best mate, Michael. <laughs> Every time I see the, the videos, I laugh so much. And your beautiful, amazing dog, Bosley. He is the sweetest. And my favorite video is when you cut Michael's hair for him to be a peacock. God, you and Michael are goddamn fucking best guys. Ever you guys are bit like brothers i wish i could be crazy and even having friends i wish i could see you and michael so keep up the good work marty i hope i'll hear from you soon from Haley. Haley, thank you very much that's a lovely video and yes you're right michael is the one in my videos sometimes <laughs> you, might, you might see him make an appearance in my videos yeah so spot on she's you got have, lovely neat handwriting yeah i can't tell if she's there's no full stops. It's one massive sentence. But hey, thank fuck it. But thank you very much, Haley. I appreciate oh, well, she that. Even, she's allowed to swear. She wrote fucking. Well, she might not be 10 years old. Might just be like... Just really different sort of handwriting. Yeah. But thank you, Haley. Good, good word for it. We appreciate you. Well, he does. And I'm, I'm just the friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but that's the fucking... How the cookie crumbles these days, cunt. Two... Two, 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 two. I guess it's uh, prank call time. It sure fucking is, mate. It sure fucking is. Our final segment of the day. It's the prank call. God, I feel like we've been quite flat this episode. Well, it's been a big day and it's going to be a big week. But all in all, there's been some good moments. And I'm pretty excited for this prank call. And we're healthy. Hello. Um, hello. Is this the tattoo shop? Yeah, it sort of is. We've got no phone at the moment, so it's been diverted to my phone, which I own the shop. Right, right. Are you able to take bookings and stuff or...? No. Can you go on our Facebook page Uh, and we can get your phone number off that? I don't have um, Facebook. Is there um, any way I could just maybe call like a tattoo artist or something or book something in? It's pretty hard because I don't know what you're after. If you go to the shop tomorrow, we're open from 10 o'clock to at least 6. Right, yeah, right. And just go there and um, you can talk to somebody. Um, all right. All right, I'll do that. Yeah, we just, with that storm the other day, we've got no internet. So it's fucked. You're joking. Yeah, that, that big storm took out the bloody wires, did it? The bloody telecommunications. I don't know what's happened. They've just coming around tomorrow morning. Must be the bloody uh, telecommunications or something got shut down when the, um, when the lightning yeah. hit, the, hit the bloody uh, the servers there. So anyway, I'll, um, I'll go and have a look yeah. at the servers and I'll see if I can get it back up running. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll, um, I'll, give, yeah. You, I'll so give you a buzz we, back. We've in got l- a technician coming in tomorrow morning, so we don't know if it's going to be up and going. Or not. Oh, well, I can have a look myself. I'll just go and I'll go around. I know where they are. The um, the service for that area, and I'll um, I'll go have a look. So, I'll let you know well, how I go. Technical savvy, are you? Oh, mate, yeah, nothing to be the bloody YouTube can't fix. You know, I'm I'm doing stuff like that all around the house all the time. So I'll go and I'll, I'll pop over and have a look. I'll give you a buzz hey, back. If you come in, I'll get you name and phone number because we've got so many other problems. We can I I can pay you to come and fix other problems oh there you go mate yeah we'll, we'll see it we'll see how i go um see how i go with yeah. this one but yeah I'll, I'll pop around and um because so, because I, I think it's just been one of the um the bulbs probably short circuit or something from the um yeah. energy energy coursing through it so i'll go and uh, see if i can swap that over and i'll give you a buzz in about half and see if i sort it today okay no worries mate no worries mate see you later Bye. see ya Just we call back in five and say that yeah, I just got here. It's fucked. Like it's never coming back. Like your system is shut down. It's shut down forever. Hello. 
Hello. Hey, mate, it's me again. I was just around the bloody corner, uh, just pulled up across the road from it, and, like, I could even see just walking over to it that there's uh, big problems with it. Um, the receivers are all uh, spread out on the ground, um, and one of them's actually still, uh, li- like, a live wire at the bottom there, and it's uh, it's just it's just getting a bit out of control. Um, I might have to uh, call the, the fire department here and get them to come. Because one of the live wires, it's banging up against the wall pretty hard. And, uh, yeah, it's getting cl- close. And it's just, just down where the transmitters are, mate. The, um, what transmitter? The transmitter is just near the joint where all the... Mel- remember the telecommunications fell down? During I've the sc- no idea what you're talking about. The, you know how your phone's out at the, at the tattoo shop? I just come down to the transmitter station and the wires are fucked, mate. They are strewn across the bloody... Where are the transmitters? The transmitters just down the road from the tattoo shop, mate. The bloody... The, where the phones are down. The, the power lines are draped across the road. There's kids walking walking bloody dogs over there, mate. There's bloody there's bloody children running around. I'm going to have to bloody get, them, get the uh, hammers involved here, mate. I'm going to have to do some hard work on this one and all. Yeah, well, you'll do what you'll have to do. I'm I'm out and about, so I can't help you. Yeah, mate, well, it's just getting a bit, like, it's getting a bit hairy here. There's a bit of fucking, I see some smoke coming from one of the back corners there. And the receivers are actually all bundled up. I don't know if you can hear it, mate. It's fucking loud. Oh, my God! Oh, my arm is on fire! <laughs> my arm is on fire! Stop, drop and roll! Stop, drop and roll! Stop, drop and roll! Scream with agony. (laughs) 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 What was he saying? I heard him saying something about, oh, you funny cunt at the end. Dude, I'm happy with that. You don't win them all, and that was good. Two parters. My arm is on fire. Imagine hearing that. It's like, I don't know what are you you talking about, mate? (laughs) Some (laughs) random calls him and tells him he's going to go fix his fucking phone problem. And he's like, oh, well, just do what you can, mate. Just do what you can. Just okay with a stranger. (laughs) You're there within less than five minutes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was very good. I liked it. I, I enjoyed how it how we created it right on the spot during the phone call. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, was very spontaneous. Mm. All right, guys, that That's brings us to the end of episode number fourteen. That's why we are the best. best. We are the best. We are the best. We are the best. We are the best. Best, 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 better than the rest, 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 rest best. Bested. How did he best Bested me? <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>